What's up everybody? It's Cam, back at it again for you guys uh, with another pretty cool video I'm very excited to talk about. Um, so today we're just going to go over the Radiant Ramjet and Afterburner combination and some information about compensators as well and why you may or may not want to do this to your everyday carry. Um, and that's just compensating a pistol in general. So the Radiant Ramjet and Afterburner combination was really cool. It piqued my interest when I saw it. Um, I believe it was released around 2022 at SHOT Show, and once I saw it, it kind of surprised me because Radiant is very well known for like their Era 15s and their Era 15 parts. So some examples of that are the Radiant Talon safety, uh, the, the Radiant Raptor charging handles, which are absolutely awesome, and stuff like that. They make a lot of ambidextrous parts, and they also make triggers too, I didn't know that, but they seem to be really good. So once I saw this, I was like, hmm, kind of interested in this because, you know, Radian does make very high quality products. And from there, I was kind of like, let's see what I can find on this. Of course, when it came out, there wasn't that much. But fast forward like a year and a half later, a lot of people were interested. They bought this and there's a lot of good reviews out there online and, you know, on YouTube and stuff like that. So. So, yeah, that was kind of the history behind it. And once I saw what I saw with the reviews, I was like. I'm going to bite the bullet, I'm going to purchase it, I'm going to try it out. So why would you want to purchase a compensator for your pistol? Well, you can reduce the amount of felt recoil. Now, 9mm, of course, doesn't kick that much. It's, you know, once you have good fundamentals and you have a good grip and a good shooting stance, you should be able to uh, deliver accurate fire pretty fast with some training, of course. Now, if you can make yourself a little bit faster, why the hell not? You know what I mean? So that's why I did it, because I had a lot of rounds shot through this thing. Uh, through this Glock before I had the um, um, the actual Radiant Ramjet and Afterburner. I do shoot my pistols a lot more than I actually shoot my ARs just because it's a lot easier for me to get to a range and be able to train and stuff like that. So I have a lot more rounds to this. I have about 3,000 rounds and um, 2,500 of those were uncompensated. It was just factory parts, um, a factory barrel and all that stuff. Then I decided to do a lot of work for it because I was like, why not? So anyway, um, you know, this will allow you to get easier target acquisition and faster follow-up shots, and you'll be a lot more accurate just because, um, you know, you're not going to have as much vertical recoil. There's not as much correcting you have to do with your hands to be able to actually aim the pistol. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Now, there's it's very well known if you do any research on compensators, and when I started looking into this, I did a lot of research and watch a lot of videos on why I might not want to do this. So uh, one of those reasons are because compensators, um, they can reduce the reliability of a firearm. So what a compensator will do is it can, um, uh, it can increase the back pressure, I believe is how it works. And then what you're going to have to do for a lot of cases is you're going to have to replace your recoil spring. A lot of people, when they compensate a pistol, they put in a lighter recoil spring. And what that does is it reduces the amount of weight that's needed uh, for the slide to go back and to be able to go forward. And a lot of competition shooters will do this. So um, it, it helps reduce the recoil. Now with this, I noticed that a lot of people were not running um, aftermarket recoil springs. They were running at stock. And that's one thing Radian wanted to do is make sure that you sh this will run reliably with uh, your stock recoil spring which is what I wanted because I didn't really want to buy the recoil spring. But it's really good if you want to do it. So, And not just for this, for any uh, compensator out there. You can use it, which is awesome. It's adjustable. So, yeah. So that's one of the reasons why you might not want to purchase a compensator. And then another reason that you're not going to want to do this is um, you'll have to... Per it will increase the length of the slide itself. So you might um, need to purchase a whole new holster, which no one wants to do. But with this, if you have a Glock 17 holster, this will fit because this compensator will bring it to a uh, 17 length. And I didn't have to buy any new holsters or anything. Mine fit mine perfectly because there, there was already space in there for a compensator and all that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, another reason why you shouldn't purchase this is it is not a substitute for bad technique. This is not going to make you an amazing shooter. Shooting is what makes you a good shooter. So before you get anything like this or even think about it, you should shoot quite a bit of rounds through your pistol. And then you can start thinking about doing all that cool stuff and adding this. So yeah, so, so those are some of the reasons. Reliability, 
um, holster compatibility, and then it's not a substitute for bad technique. So, yeah. So why did I actually end up purchasing this? And, you know, why did I really want to get into this? One, after doing my research, I found out that not a lot of people had to replace the recoil spring. Therefore, this is this runs reliably through my system without with the stock recoil spring. And a lot of people have the same opinions as well and have done the same or have done the research to um, prove that their stuff runs well. And I shoot a variety of ammo through this. I shot a Winchester white box, 114 or 115 grains, um, some Herders, 115 grain ammo. I also shot some of my carry ammo, Hornady Critical Defense, which has ran very well through this. I have not had a single problem with this system. Now that can change in the future. And if it does, um, this is gonna come out and this is gonna go on to like a fun gun or something like that. So uh, I don't wanna have to deal with this on my carry pistol. I don't have to deal with reliability issues. And so far, this thing has ran amazingly well. I haven't had any problems with it. Another thing that I love about it is it's very low profile. It's not really big and hanging out at the end of your gun and stuff. And it looks weird. It looks like it's at a half chub or some shit. This is awesome. This thing is very low profile, and which I love about it. And another thing that's awesome about this compensator is it's legal in all 50 states. And the reason as to why it is legal um, is because the barrel itself is not threaded. The barrel has a cool little teardrop uh, thing going on the end of it. And with that, you ins or you screw in this, uh, this taper screw, I think is what it's called. And you don't have to put any kind of Loctite in there. You just torque it to about 15 inch pounds and it doesn't walk. It hasn't walked on me yet. It's really nice. It stayed tight. I haven't had to retighten it or anything like that. So uh, this thing is built very, very, very well. Also, I haven't seen any issues with accuracy or anything like that. Usually Glock barrels and aftermarket barrels are done pretty well. Um, just as long as you get them from a uh, good company and they're reliable and have good QC. So this is absolutely amazing. Installation was also incredibly easy. You don't have to time it because of that taper screw. You just throw it on there, uh, torque it down to 15 inch pounds and you're straight. And then finally, the main reason, the most important reason arguably, is this looks fucking dope. I love the way that this thing looks. It's so smooth. Um, so I, was, I saw other people's builds and I was like, man, I need that. So I ended up doing a whole lot of work to it. I added this red dot and uh, changed the whole trigger out and all that stuff and then went with the Radiant Ramjet and Afterburner. So yeah, this thing is absolutely amazing. My whole experience with this has been awesome. Like I said, I shot 500 rounds through this thing with a variety of ammo, absolutely no problems at all. Now, one thing that I do wanna be very clear about is on this is it says uh, it will reduce felt recoil by 44%. I don't know where they got that number from. I can't quantify it myself with my own testing. I don't think it's 44%, but I will say that you do feel a pretty good decrease in the recoil that you feel. And it makes this a whole lot easier to shoot. I actually, um, I let one of my friends shoot this pistol and he's very, very new to shooting. He's uh, He purchased his first gun, which is a Glock 19 Gen 5. And I told him like, hey man, try this out. Uh, let me know what you think. So he shot it and he was shooting very well with this thing for a new shooter he was uh he put about two or three mags through it and and we put it at uh 25 yards and he was doing very well now that can be due to the dot in my opinion that's what makes me a lot more accurate is because i have horrible eyes so the dot's a lot easier for me to see than and uh get better follow-up shots than the irons but this isn't a pistol review but anyway um he did notice that there was a good reduction in recoil when shooting this now, 44%. I don't know. I don't think so. But it is there. It is definitely there. So, yes. Yes, this thing is absolutely amazing. Now, uh, another con to this thing, actually, is the price. This is a $400 setup. So, with taxes and shipping and everything, it's going to be over 400 Personally, do I think it's worth it? Mm, I would honestly say no. Um, having that faster follow-up target acquisition and uh, those faster follow-up shots are, it could be worth it. If you're a competition shooter and you have some money on the line, something like this might be worth it. Um, 
or god forbid a self-defense situation and you know you need to put more than one round through something this will let you do that a lot easier especially if it's at a further distance so you could you can make the argument that it is and isn't worth it to me i like it i think it was i'm very happy with uh the money that i spent and yeah i think it's absolutely amazing but yeah this thing is awesome i would recommend it um but only if you are a newer shooter or not a newer shooter if you vetted um your pistol you've shot it quite a bit and this will this is only for glock uh 19 gen 3 4 and 5 you can also put on the 40 uh the glock 45 the glock 19x i believe you can do that so yeah so this thing is very cool i'm very happy with it and um you know i do recommend it for you guys if you vet it you have to vet it don't put it on your carry pistol and just start walking around with it put some rounds through it make sure it works for you um if you need to change out your recoil springs take it off put it on a fun gun that's my personal opinion but yeah anyway though i really appreciate you guys for watching this video i really appreciate you spending the time to listen to me talk about you know the rating ramjet and afterburner combination and yeah so you guys have a great day god bless you be safe and also if i miss anything please let me know in the comments i really appreciate it i i love learning about all this stuff and you know i i want to make sure everyone who's watching this is able to learn something for it from it and, you know make sure you do your research but Thank you guys. Have a good one and be safe. Bye-bye.